and welcome along and welcome to this first look at Sudbury Meadows. Uh, this is a map by MA7 uh, Farm Sim Mods uh, and has been entered into the Farming Simulator 19 mod contest. Uh, it is based, uh, was inspired by Sudbury, which is a small village in the UK. Uh, and so, yeah, it's a very British map. We are going to have a look around it, see what it's like and see how we go. Um, now, I do have to say, you, I've seen pictures of this on Facebook, this first shot where you, uh, where you initially spawn into the map. And I have to say, this here is as impressive as it is on Facebook. I am, it is... I love the entrance way to this. It is utterly gorgeous. Got this real feeling of an old manor house in the UK. Um, there's a little bit of a European feel to it as well, but uh, but certainly I'm I, I am getting a a British vibe from a, a, a certain area of the UK with this. So uh, it's pretty cool. That's a pretty striking place to spawn in. And similarly, you go through the archway here, and I'm, I've, I've seen stuff like this in the UK before. And into the yard, uh, we have storage here. So, uh, yeah, I like where the storage is. Uh, we've got several pieces of equipment, and it's a nice farmyard. I really, really do like this. We're going to jump in. Uh, I'm going to jump in the landy and have a look around a little bit. So we've got a, a nice a British green and brown landy in here. Uh, I wanted to have a go with this. Uh, I thought these colours suited this map rather nicely. So, uh, yeah, let's have a drive around and have a look. And as I said, this is a nice yard. I'm liking the size of this. Reminds me a lot of, uh, of farms that, that I've been to uh, in the past. Uh, I could do a little bit of concrete on the ground, but otherwise, okay. I'm guessing here we have our cows. Now, do these doors open? That would be pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and this is our cow uh, cow shed. Really nicely modelled. I'm, I'm liking this a lot. There's a good amount of detail in these models. And it's all sort of uh, custom for this map. I've not, I've not seen this on any other map before. And out to this side here. And yeah, that's really quite cool. I'm really liking I'm liking this a lot at the moment. There's a good amount of detail into it. I'm just going to drive through here. So that must be your unloading point for your cows there. There you go. Straight through and out the other side. And yeah, slurry point. And yeah, this is this is really quite nice. Uh, it seems to be, um, I wouldn't say basic, but there's not a huge amount to it outside of uh, of the the starting setup but what is here is a lot of care and attention has been put into it so it's looking quite nice from that point of view loving the hedges the roads are a good width uh, and it just generally feels nice this map so through to here so ending of these fields here again uh one of the nice things actually I cannot see the edge of the map. So the edge of the map is just to the other sides of these fields. Because it's been given a little bit of space, this map, you can't actually, you know, the, the distance and everything, you've got, you've got a little bit of room between the fields and the edge of the map. And as a result, you, you don't suddenly have that jarring edge. And I really, really like that. Uh, maps that maps that take great care to do things like that and and to sort of give you this this idea of of immersion and and not break you out of it. Really impressed by maps like that, uh, and this does have that that nice little touch to it. Again, liking all the the, the little bits of um, water on the ground and the the sort of the grass between the roadways and things like that. Uh, which are which are quite nice little touches. Come out to the main road here, and this heads down uh, to our left. So we're going to head down here. There's a timber mill and a sawmill out this way. And there's nothing that, that at all at the moment that I'm I kind of go, you know, kind of makes me cringe or anything like that. It's all 
really, uh, do you know what? Nice is is the best description. I it's not completely blowing me away. Uh, yes, the initial uh, the initial spawning point does. I'm noticing I'm noticing quite a few um, repetitions on trees. Uh, I have to say, so there's there's quite a few trees in here that I I notice from uh, that that are repeating. Uh, I don't think we're are we at the bottom of the map here. I don't think we are. No, we are at uh, field 16. Seems to be in a nice big dip there. There's a valley. And this woodland actually, again, not really nice level of detail to this. And this, oh, I love this part of the map. This part of the map is, is really beautiful. And then coming around here and it takes us into a really quite right... A uh, really quite wide roadway down here. Uh, we have a cell point here by the looks of things. Now, not 100% sure what that is a cell point for. Uh, but considering we're down at the timber mill, my guess would be... Yeah, I think that's a timber cell point. Maybe. Uh, we've got another cell point around here. Oh, I know. Right, so our timber cell point is here with this exclamation mark. I'm guessing that that is wood chips over there, which is a different way of doing the wood chip cell point. I've not really seen that done very much uh, in, in having a, a grill to do that in. Roads ahead. Oh, no. No, we have. Now, is that a cell point over here for wood chips? Because that certainly is a good pile of wood chips. So, uh, yeah, I would question, is that the wood chip cell point? And then over the other side is a cell point and something else. So we will check that at the end. Uh, but, yeah, it would appear we have three cell points here. Uh, one for logs, one for wood chips, and one for something else. Uh, which would be quite cool if there is another cell point down this way. Edge of the map there, so tunnel heading off. Again, nicely done edge of the map, that. I like that a lot. And we seem to have, we're going to cut through here. We seem to have a lot of space around our fields. And so just going to cut into field 14 here. So huge areas of grass. You could expand your fields massively here. And I really, I really like the fact that there is there this expansion. I think you could have added some more fields into the map. Uh, certainly, it's a very—it's got a very rectangular setup in all its fields, so it does have uh, does have a, a, an issue. Um, yeah, I would quite like to, with the with the field setups on here, have seen a more uh, a less rectangular setup on the fields. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I've got, I've got yeah I'm zero issue with it. It's, it's some nice big fields on this map. Uh, to play around in, and uh, and and you get this really quite nice vista from the various heights of the fields. I'm gonna just nip through the hedge row here, so the hedges don't have collisions on them. Uh, they are the the moving ones that you get in, that that have been becoming a bit of a standard thing on maps now. And uh, and yeah. It's uh, it's it's a really it's a beautiful map. I will give it that. Uh, I am liking the fact that again, it's one of those maps where there's not an uninteresting direction to look. Uh, everywhere has uh, an interesting thing, and 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 there's nothing that really sort of detracts from your enjoyment of the map at all. It all sort of fits in quite nicely. Heading up this way, uh, so we're past our farmhouse now. We're heading towards, uh, well, we're going to head towards the spinnery. Looks like we've got a big area of, uh, big area of forestry here and, and rocks and things like that. And again, I'm liking the detail that's been put into this area of the map. Uh, it looks, it looks nice. It looks really immersive, and that is uh, that is really quite cool. To, to work in that level of detail. And that's the impression I've always got through seeing the development of this map. 
is that there's there's always been a high attention to detail level on it, uh, which makes me uh, wonder how uh, sort of where the playable level comes into it, uh, and how playable this is. Uh, having said that, at the moment I don't see anything about it that isn't nicely playable. So uh, yeah, I think this would be an enjoyable match play. Uh, we've got the cozy ball traditional spinnery. So this is the standard one from uh, Ravenport. Cell point. I can't overly see the cell point. I'm ho actually I, my expectation would be uh, this point here. It seems to be a marked out point. It seems to be somewhere to unload your uh, wool and cotton. And I can't see anywhere else on the map. It is also the point on the map that is marked as the sell point. So, yeah, I think that's where you sell your wool and your cotton. Again, works well. Um, it is, whoa, a little bit Americanized. Uh, but, uh, yeah, otherwise, no issues at all uh, with that. We'll head back along the main road here. Lots of, uh, I'm seeing lots of dirt tracks and things between the field areas. So it's it's a good map from the point of view of the expandability is nice. Uh, as I was saying a bit earlier. Um, I, think, I think the one thing I would like to see, and the only issue I can level at this at the moment, is that the... the Field areas are very irregularly shaped. The fields themselves are not. Then I think I would have liked to have seen better use of that. It has... As, as I drive around, my, my the feeling that I had of it being a, a British map is kind of fading, is the only thing I'd say. It, it kind of feels a little bit like a French map to me at the moment. Uh, I feel I feel a little bit like the Land Rover's a little bit out of place. It's a nice map, a nice looking map, uh, but yeah, it is it is feeling a little bit more uh, mainland Europe than uh, than quintessentially English or British at the moment. Uh, shop point. So this is where uh, tractors and things get bought. Like that, the shop isn't just empty. Uh, on quite a few maps, you end up with just an empty shop, and I, I like that there's stuff in there that, that time has been taken to add detail into there. That's pretty cool. Uh, down here to the left, uh, to the right, sorry, uh, we have the animal market. So we'll just pop down here and have a look at that. Again, roads going off to the sides and things. Uh, quite liking this. Again, I think this is. Uh, this is the one that's on Felsburn, I think. And I, I, I do like the the subtle way that this, this map actually marks out its purchase areas. It's not got the, the yellow hatching on the ground, but it still marks where you need to go to load stuff up. And that's really quite nice. It fits in with the map well. And, and that's a nice touch to it. We head back up to the main road and uh, and round the corner. Now, if I was going to level any issues uh, on this tanker fix, <laughs> um, it does, I would say that it seems to be a little bit short on cell points mainly. We'll, we'll have a look at it in a minute. I would like to see multiple, uh, more than one cell point um, for uh, each crop, so we'll see. Um, it just does, it, it feels a very empty map from that point of view. Uh, not that that's necessarily a bad thing, just an observation. Uh, so that is, uh, that's a cell point in there. We have another cell point in, ah, we have our biogas plant in here. So this is the cell point for the BGA. Uh, and yep, yeah, we have digestate here. Some nice big uh, silage clamps in here. And then it looks like to the north of the map, we might have a port. Can we get into it here? Yes. I think this is where we enter the port. And yep, we've got another cell point in here. 
So yeah, that pretty much covers uh, the whole of the map. Uh, it's uh, it's a nice looking map. It's got a good attention to detail and a good level of detail on it. We're gonna park here and, uh, and sort of look out over the water for our last bit. Uh, so liking that a lot, let's have a look at the map itself. So if we bring it up here, uh, it's not a map that takes too long to go around. Uh, you can see we've got this large area of what appears to be forestry. But you can also see my, my issues with fields here. There's a lot of wasted space where I could see extra fields being added in and uh, and, and a little bit more care taken uh, with it. It's, it's a lot of wasted space on this map, I think, is, uh, is one of the things I would level at it. Uh, we have um, value of areas. So the area you start with on New Farmer, that has a value of 349,000. Smallest field would appear to be field 2, which does kind of fill its area. Uh, so cheapest field is 90,000. Most expensive is going to be either... Well, that forestry area is 1,000... Uh, sorry, 1 million... 444,776. I doubt anywhere is going to match that. Field 16, again, has is over 1 million. So you've got several areas on this map over 1 million. Looking at 14 and 16, though, that is, for the amount of fields you get, uh, we drove through 14. I would like to have seen that fill that a lot more for a million pounds. So, or have multiple fields in that. I mean, you could put two or three fields in that area easily. So, uh, yeah, I think I would have quite liked to have seen that. Um, lots of places you can't buy. So you can see, actually, the area outside is, qu again, quite a big area. So this is not, despite what it looks like, this is not a huge map. Uh, highly detailed, uh, but but definitely not a huge map. Um and I, I think there are a few bits and pieces that I would possibly change. Cell points. Uh, we have five cell points. We do have multiple cell points for our main crops. I'm liking that a lot. It's Timberside Mill. So, yes, that, that cell point we saw early. That is uh, a cell point for crops. Uh, again, I'm liking that we have multiple cell points for, in fact, most of our stuff. Even the milk has multiple cell points. That is, to me, that's a big plus. No cell points for, uh, or no uh, cell points for straw, certainly, um, or, or grass. Or So it seems to be that this, this, I would guess, goes into the BGA, all of this. But yeah, no listed cell points for any of that stuff, uh, which is interesting. Uh, uh it's uh, it's the second map I've seen in the mod contest that has this, that has no sell point for bale stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's that's all good. Let's have a look at our starting equipment, shall we? So in our garage, uh, we've got a Fent uh, 511C. We've got two Fent 511C uh, fabrics uh, and a Fiat 1300DT. So, uh, yeah, decent amount of horsepower, uh, 115 from those two, and, and the horsepower on that Fiat always surprises me. 150 horsepower on that. Uh, then we've got TX32 Combine, uh, Landy we added in, of course. Uh, Force Right HW80 Trailer. I, on a British map, I probably wouldn't start with that. I would probably start with a non-dolly trailer, um... But yeah, so uh, that goes well with Combine from a size point of view, though. Uh, TX32 header, of course. Uh, Polymag 300 Rao uh, Cultivator. Uh, an Amazon D830 Cedar. Couple of weights. Uh, those are for our fence. Uh, the large cow pasture is placeable. So if you start this on uh, uh, Farm Manager or start from scratch, you probably wouldn't have that uh grain silo again uh nice to see that although that's interesting because we know the grain silo is on the inside so i think that icon might be wrong and our grain silo is is slightly different farmhouse as well for 175 i kind of wonder if those are purchasable in the shop so we'll have a quick look at those but yeah i'm liking that that's a good starting setup 
Uh, let's just have a look at our buildings. So farmhouses. Yes, so that's nice. The farmhouse ha is a purchasable item. So if you start on either of the other two starting things, you can still place the farmhouse. And I'm guessing if we have a look at the animal pens, the same is true for the cow pasture. That is awesome. So many maps you come across. You, your, your, starting, your custom starter buildings are not available on the other game modes. In this they are. And that is a big plus to me on this map. I like that the, the creator has taken the time to do that. To create them as uh, in-game mods. Uh, in-game placeables. Right. So that actually is pretty cool i'm i'm there's there's lots to like about this map there is an awful lot to like about this map um yeah really really nice uh the other thing i need to check is in our map what fields do we start with it is just so we did have a look at this we did see what our starting area was we only have the one field in our starting area we have field one uh, it starts you off with a ready to harvest field though in this game mode so that i think is really cool uh combine will handle that size field i think my initial my immediate thing with new farmer uh would be to buy field two field two is ready to harvest as well grab that and away you go but uh yeah no issues with uh with that at all so all in all I really quite like this. This is this is a great little map. Single player, I think this would be fantastic. Lots of details to it. Um, well, lots and lots of detail in the map, but the map does feel a little bit empty to me. And a little bit European. There's not a massive British feel to it. Uh, but uh, still a lovely map. Still a map that uh, I think would be quite a nice map to play. Um, you can download it from the Giants Mod Hub for PC. It is Sudbury Meadows. It is by MA7 Farm Sim Mods. Uh, if you do like it, go vote for it in the mod contest. Uh, and uh, yeah, with that... All that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.